2026 is almost upon us. And one of the things that I do every January is get a massive influx of people downloading apps. And many of them are ones that can help them to better their productivity and try and achieve their goals for the next year. Well, today I've put together a good list of goal setting applications, ones that you can use to help build your official goals for this brand new year and they are all listed below, but we're gonna dive straight into them. Before we do, I'm just gonna set Comet Browser up to do a task for me, updating some of these pages in the background, and we'll come back to it at the end of this video. Thanks to Comet Browser for partnering with us in this video. You can check it out in the link in the description to make your internet life easier. So first off, we're going with classic goal-based applications. These are ones that can help you set a goal and work towards them. So I'm gonna start with one called Griply. It has been growing incredibly popular in the last year. And the main reason people like it is because it, it combines the habits, tasks, and goals in one location. But what is really nice is for those who like a more visual or a document-based focus, you can set up a goal and a project or a goal board inside of there to add some images and even write up a bit more about your goal in more detail. So whether that's a fitness goal or whether it is you trying to achieve a upgrade at work, a promotion at work, then you can help build that and then work towards it in increments. And it's got a great way to see your progress as you go on. I really like it for that. It's well designed and really reasonably priced compared to some other to-do list apps on the market. Tool number two is called Work Done. And this one is fairly similar in nature to the likes of Gripply. It wants you to help you plan your habits as well like Gripply does in a nice and neat fashion. The application is orientated towards goals, doesn't go into as much detail as Gripply, but at the same time has a really good design and simple focus available on the following platforms. Now, maybe you wanna go a little bit more serious and linear. So maybe Gripply's good, you can set a deadline on Gripply and work done, but maybe you want something that's like 10 year goal, five year goal, one month goal. Well, there's an app called Time Stripe that's gonna help you to do that. It allows you to set up uh, weekly goals, monthly goals, and then go into yearly and five yearly and even per year goals all the way up to or lifetime goals. And the main reason behind that is it's almost like a very much a zoom out type of application. You can still add tasks and sub goals and work towards those goals or objectives, but the idea is to try and zoom out much, much more. So you can see the lifetime goals next to your weekly goals and everything in between, giving you more of a perspective on what you need to narrow down your smaller goals to achieve your larger goals, if that makes sense. It's all very cool in terms of its design, reasonably priced uh, compared to Gripply, not as much, but at the same time, a solid application if you're looking for that goal oriented focus. And finally, one other option on this list is Thing3. It's exclusive to Apple devices, but I quite like that there's personal goals in here that you can set up and set a deadline on them. I like the fact that you get a pie chart, a due date, and you can break your goals into section headers and also tasks in themselves. This application is always recommended above many other to-do snaps on the market when it comes to goals just because it helps segment that and see progress towards achieving them. Okay, so we're gonna dive into a few different other sections. Um, all of these apps will be listed below if you're interested and you can also save on tools like this with software discounts from Toolfinder. So make sure you check that out in the link in description. So the first of the next set of apps is about habit orientated ones and one of those is called Strides. Now this one is a very popular app and it's been around for a long time. A lot of people like it because what it does very well is break down a goal and allow you to work towards a numeric orientation of your goal. So if your goal is to reach 25, uh, gain 25 kilos or lose 25 kilos, whatever it may be, you can basically set that up in increments and update it based on your weight, which shows you your progression towards that goal. Some other applications don't do that. And that's quite a nice way to see that. It's almost like logging or entries towards an achieved objective. You can do this with your bank account or whatever it may be, but you can see the progress on a chart and that's really, really nice nice. Apps like Gripply do have these type of features, but at the same time, I like how Strides do it with their habit-focused orientation. Next app as well, which is grown popular on the App Store, is one called Time Spent. And this one allows you to track your time spent and activities like that, but also set your orientation up towards habits and goals as well. There's a nice cute area where you can manage your goals and it's a little bit more relaxed and chill in terms of its design and feel. Much more suited for casual goal management, but at the same time, very good 
in terms of balancing the habits and goals alike. Next on my list is PKM based apps. Now there are a few different apps that are more note taking apps, but you could set them up with goals in mind. So you could have this one goal note that you can then correlate all of your under notes to and keep track of anything that you want to work towards and keep in mind when you're referencing them inside notes that you're making. I tend to go with Tana and Capacities for that just because the way they're set up is really nice for that. But there are other apps that are more AI journal orientated like Mindsera or Mindsera. I don't know whether it's Mindsera or Mindsera. And uh, there's also another one, the Mem and you've got uh, reflection as well. All of these are great AI journal apps, which are gonna help you to reflect on your goals and are a bit more journal orientated, but they can still be very good applications for setting and referencing goals. Because if you, obviously AI is going to remember the notes you have and be able to resurface them when you're communicating with it. So again, you could log entries and be able to date back to those to help you to progress towards an objective that you're doing. So if you're looking for some more mixed, some blend between a classic and a uh, just a traditional to-do list app, then I'd probably recommend Routine, Todoist, and Lunar Task. All of these applications are really nice, simple in nature. In Routine, you can set up weekly and daily objectives, but there's a pages area which you can assign a bunch of different goals and use that as your base to bring all of your tasks towards. And also, uh, Todoist is a good one because you can create a project and use some of their templates to help build a goal and objective. You can also use a new Ramble feature to break down a task that you may be working on and set up the goals using only your voice. And finally, Lunar Task is good for those who are security focused. It has a notes based feature with journal as well, which means you can track and keep tally of all of your tasks there. So a lot of people I know um, really struggle to visualize their goal. If going into the note taking app is even more difficult to visualize it, then sticking your notes or your goals to your screen might be a good idea. Now, obviously you can use the traditional post-it notes. I've got them over there. They work really well. However, if you want digital post-it notes, I'd recommend two apps for that. One is called Side Notes and one is called Float. All of these apps are good if you want something to float on your desktop to see your goals nearby. Now some people might not like that because they see that every day and they might be overwhelmed. Other people might not like it for security reasons, someone peeping over their shoulder to see what goals they've got, but others who really like to orientate themselves towards their objectives, visualize it every day, will like this, especially if you're somebody that wants to see it plain and clear. So moving on, I wanna talk about some accountability orientated stuff. There are a few different apps that actually hold you more accountable towards your goals. I know there are even more of these popping them up, but um, Goals One, and Flown are very good at this. There's also Cave Day, Focus Mate, and I'll include loads more in the description below. But the idea is you work with a group of people to hold yourself accountable, and also you set yourself a goal and get that accountability coach to check in on you on that progress. Now, Flown, for example, is a good accountability example. You can join a virtual Zoom group, and then essentially you are in that group and you set your goal at the start of the session and you work with others. And this has been incredibly popular in the ADHD space because it's called, it relates to something called body doubling, which means you have somebody else there to keep you accountable and present, but that person just being there can help to achieve that objective. Again, if you want to save on apps like Flown, then you can check them out in the link in the description. We've got loads over on Toolfinder and there's a brand new software discount area, which I'm sure you'll thoroughly enjoy. Now, finally, I want to round off with some other daily planner apps. That, again, shouldn't be taken off the cards or the books or I don't know what the saying is. It shouldn't be taken out of consideration when looking for a daily planner app. The first one is AkiFlow. Very good if you're looking for something to bring in all your different tasks from other applications but have the control to organize what those goals are as you go forward. The next is Sansama. This is great application when it comes to the weekly objectives element to help bring in your focus for the year ahead and also to be able to just zoom out more retrospectively using their reflections based feature. And finally, there's an app called Before Sunset. It's growing in popularity and you can set weekly and monthly goals. Again, even just those weekly and monthly approaches instead of setting lifetime goals could be a great starting point for you. And the app heavily uses AI as well. Okay, so at the start of this video, I set up a task for Comet to do in the background. It's updated all the apps I mentioned with even more details so you can browse Toolfinder more effectively. You can check out Toolfinder and software discounts there, but most importantly, you can go over 
and get Comet Browser in the link in the description. It's a great way to save yourself time on administration, based tasks, as well as research, and much, much more. You can find out my full video about Comet Browser, which I'll link in the description below. Thank you so much for stopping by on today's video. Hopefully you can enter 2026 with clear objectives, and these apps might just help you down the road. So find them all linked in the description below, and a little bit more detail will be there too. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, because if you haven't done it, then it'd be great to have you in this community. And I'll see you in a future video, I'm sure. Cheerio for now, and I hope you can achieve all your goals this coming year. Thank you very much. Cheerio.